नमस्ते एवरीवन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन ऑफ द सिविल इंजीनियरिंग टॉपिक दैट इज सर्वेइंग इन दिस वीडियो वी आर टेकिंग द फर्स्ट पार्ट दैट इज टाइप्स ऑफ सर्वेइंग एंड अंडर द टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सर्वेइंग बेसिक्स व्हाट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ सर्वेइंग सर्वेइंग इज द साइंस ऑफ मेजरिंग एंड मैपिंग रिलेटिव पोजीशन ऑन द अर्थ सरफेस it involves determining distances angles and elevations to create accurate representation of terrain and features the importance of surveying it is in civil engineering which provides data for planning designing and constructions in land development it helps establishing property boundaries and plot subdivisions and in navigation it aids in route planning for roads railways and waterways what are the objectives of surveying the main objective of surveying is it helps to determine the relative position of points it helps to prepare maps and layouts for the constructions it helps to ensure precise location of infrastructure basically we divide the surveying into the two basic parts that is geodetic surveying and plane surveying geodetic geodetic surveying have high precision and in geodetic surveying earth curvature is considered but in plane surveying we assume a surface is flat and it, it is taken in a small areas what are the basic principle of the surveying the basic principle or fundamental principle of surveying is working from the whole to part what are the benefits it, it establishes a primary control network that is main framework it divides the area into a smaller section for detailed work and it reduces error propagation and ensure accuracy the most common benefits of working from the whole to part is that is accumulation of error is reduced the second one is accurate measurement it employs reliable method and infrastructure for consistent results and the third one is properly defined units so used standardized units to avoid discrepancies in the measurement what is the importance of error elimination it measurements error must be minimized to ensure reliable and accurate survey result come to some basic terms that are baselines what is baseline a baseline is the main reference line in a survey from which measurements are extended the main characteristics of the baseline is it must be straight accurately measured and marked clearly and it forms the foundation of the triangulation system baseline forms the foundation of the triangulation system the second one is check lines check lines measures to verify the accuracy of the survey work and it is used to detect error in field measurement or plotting the application of the check lines it is used in the plane table surveys verification of large scale mapping offset and conventional sign what is the definition of the offset lateral measurements taken from a survey line to locate features the major definition is a lateral measurement taken from a survey line to locate features it is called offset basically the offsets are perpendicular offset and oblique offsets when taken at right angle to the main survey line it is called perpendicular offset and when taken at an angle other than 90 degrees to the main line it is of called oblique offset what is the importance of the offsets it helps locate features like trees building and boundaries it is used for creating detailed plans what are the instrument that we used for taking offsets that are chain or tape cross or staff or optical squares what are the conventional signs a standard symbol used on maps and plans to represent objects and feature for the example roads solid or dashed line rivers blue wavy lines buildings rectangular or square shapes these are the conventional lines for the example be used in survey what are the importance of conventional sign it universalized understanding of the maps and saves time and space on the drawing now come to the plotting of the survey plotting is the process of representing field data on paper on software in the form of maps or plans what are the steps taken in the plotting first of all draw the baseline and the main survey line now the next plot offset and features using their measurement next use a 
चूज एन स्केल फॉर कंसिस्टेंसी एंड देन एड लीजेंड स्केल एंड नॉर्थ हेरो टाइप ऑफ प्लॉट्स दीज आर टोपोग्राफिक मैप्स एंड कैडेस्ट्रल मैप्स इन टोपोग्राफिक मैप्स सो नेचुरल एंड मैनमेड फीचर्स इन कैडेस्ट्रल मैप सोज प्रोपर्टी बाउंड्रीज एंड ऑनरशिप द नेक्स्ट टर्म इज बियरिंग वॉट इज बियरिंग द एंगल बिटवीन अ लाइन एंड अ रेफरेंस डायरेक्शन दैट इज ट्रू नॉर्थ इट इज कॉल्ड बियरिंग ट्रू नॉर्थ एंड मैग्नेटिक नॉर्थ वॉट इज ट्रू नॉर्थ जियोग्राफिक नॉर्थ इज नोन एज ट्रू नॉर्थ वॉट इज द डेफिनेशन ट्रू नॉर्थ रेफर्स टू द डायरेक्शन एलोंग द अर्थ सर्फेस टूअर्ड्स द जियोग्राफिक नॉर्थ पोल वेयर द अर्थ एक्सेस ऑफ रोटेशन मीट्स इट्स सर्फेस इन द नॉर्दर्न हेमिसफेयर द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ द नॉर्थ ट्रू नॉर्थ इज इट इज अ फिक्स पॉइंट दैट डज नॉट चेंज ओवर टाइम ट्रू नॉर्थ इज यूज इन इन एस्ट्रोनॉमिकल और जियोडेटिक सर्विस इट इज रिप्रेजेंटेड ऑन मैप्स विद स्टार सिंबल और द लेटर कैपिटल एन वॉट इज मैग्नेटिक नॉर्थ मैग्नेटिक नॉर्थ रेफर्स टू द डायरेक्शन इन विच नॉर्थ सिकिंग इंड ऑफ द मैग्नेटिक कॉम्पास पॉइंट अलाइनिंग विद द अर्थ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड वॉट आर द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ द मैग्नेटिक नॉर्थ मैग्नेटिक इज नॉर्थ ऑफ नॉट अ फिक्स पॉइंट इट वेरिज ड्यू टू द चेंज इन द अर्थ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इट इज अ फिनोमेन दिस फिनोम इज नोन एज कॉल सिकुलर वेरिएशन द लोकेशन ऑफ द मैग्नेटिक नॉर्थ पोल चेंजेज ओवर टाइम एंड कैन शिफ्ट सिग्निफिकेंटली ओवर द इयर्स मैग्नेटिक नॉर्थ इज यूज इन नेविगेशन एंड कंपास बेस्ड सर्वे द बेसिक डिफरेंस बिटवीन द थ्रू नॉर्थ एंड द मैग्नेटिक नॉर्थ द इफ वी टेक द एस्पेक्ट एज ए डेफिनेशन तो ट्रू नॉर्थ मीन्स पॉइंट टू द जोग्राफिक नॉर्थ पोल वेर मैग्नेटिक नॉर्थ इज पॉइंट टू द अर्थ मैग्नेटिक नॉर्थ पोल वेरिएशन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द वेरिएशन फिक्स एंड डज नॉट चेंज ट्रू नॉर्थ Changes over time due to the magnetic field shift. It is called magnetic north. In respect to the reference, true north is used in maps and astronomical surveys, whereas magnetic north is used in compass-based navigation. True north is represented uh, with a star or capital N on the maps, whereas magnetic north compass needle points to this direction. So these are the basic differences between the true north and magnetic north. What is magnetic declination? Magnetic declination is the angle between the true north and magnetic north at a specific time. What are the uh, what are the variations? Declination is east or west, depending on whether magnetic north is to the east or west of the true north. Declination value changes with time and geographical location. So representation maps often include the magnetic declination to help convert between the true and magnetic meridian. How can we convert? True North to magnetic North or magnetic North to true North. The basic formula that can be used to convert the bearing, if we know the magnetic, and we can find the true bearing. So true bearing equals to magnetic bearing plus declination to the east side. On the second formula, magnetic bearing minus declination to the west side. If we convert want to convert true to magnetic bearing, then magnetic bearing will be true bearing. Minus declination to the east, or second true bearing plus declination to the west. Importance in surveying and navigation true north. The importance of true north it is used in accurate cartographic mapping, and second one essential for geodetic surveys and astronomical observation. Whereas magnetic north practical for navigation with a compass, and it is widely used in the field survey and orienting. Where simple instruments are applied. True magnetic bearing. Just already we have discussed that major with respect to the true north and magnetic bearing major with respect to magnetic north using a compass. We have already discussed magnetic declination, the angle between the true north and the magnetic north, and various geographicals and over the time. The formula is general conversion. That true bearing is equals to magnetic bearing plus declination. it can depend upon the plus or minus when it is east or west now come to the uh, next topic open and closed traverses what is the definition of traverses traverses is a series of connected survey line whose length and direction are measured these are the basically two type open uh, traverse and closed traverse open traverse does not return to the starting point and it is common in linear survey like road and pipelines whereas closed traverse forms a closed polygon and it is suitable for the boundary surveys the applications 
ओपन ट्रांसफर्स फॉर लीनियर प्रोजेक्ट्स वेयर एज क्लोज ट्रांसफर्स ट्रावर्स फॉर एरिया कंपोटिंग एंड मैपिंग रिकॉर्डिंग एंड प्लॉटिंग ट्रावर्स रिकॉर्डिंग फील्ड डेटा यूज अ फील्ड बुक टू रिकॉर्ड लेंथ एंगल्स एंड बियरिंग एंड इट इंक्लूज स्केचेज एंड नोट्स फॉर द क्लैरिटी एंड इन प्लॉटिंग रिप्रेजेंट्स ट्रावर्स पॉइंट एंड लाइन्स ऑन अ मैप यूजिंग अ चूज इन स्केल एंड इंश्योर एक्यूरेसी इन द एंगल्स एंड डिस्टेंसेज क्लोजिंग एरर्स ऑन एडजस्टमेंट वॉट इज अ क्लोजिंग एरर द डिस्क्रिपेंसी बिटवीन द कंप्यूटेड एंड द एक्चुअल इंड पॉइंट ऑफ ए ट्रावर्स इज कॉल्ड क्लोजिंग एरर द बेसिक रीजन द बेसिक कॉजेज फॉर द एरर्स आर द फर्स्ट वन इज इंस्ट्रूमेंटल इन एक्यूरेसीज observational mistake and environmental factor like wind or temperature how can we adjust the the error the adjustment of error can be done by the wattage rules and transit rule wattage rule distribute error proportionally based on the length of the each line and in transit rule distribute errors based on the angular measurement